What is up everyone, my name is Jasper and in today's video I want to show you guys a pretty cool tool that I came across. So in my quest to try and recover the accessory website, I've been looking at many different options. And one of the things that always kind of came back to me was the fact that I need to do more internal linking, but also need to dial in more on topical authority. Now, in my opinion, these two kind of go hand in hand because when you write more articles on a certain topic, of course, there's going to be more opportunities to interlink. And when you interlink articles together, you, of course, create more topical authority, but you have to start somewhere. So I did some research and I eventually came across a service called uh, Topical Map. It's just plain old Topical Map, but it really just gives you what it says that it does. And that's a topical map that shows a huge like branching tree of subtopics and subtopics. And honestly, it just lays out the perfect plan to create immense topical authority. So this is a service that is offered by, and I'm very sorry because I'm probably going to butcher this name, uh, but his name is Shoujo. Uh, anyway, he is the owner of the Niche Surfer newsletter and website, and I've actually been featured on there before. So I already kind of knew who he was, and I know that he has saw some incredible success with his sites. Now, at the time that I found out about the service, it wasn't yet live. So when the service was going live, as a celebration, there was a giveaway and two sets of a topical map were given away. Now, I was actually one of the winners. So this video isn't sponsored. I didn't receive this, uh, this topical map for free just so I can make a review out of it. Of course, I did receive it for free, but it was just sheer luck that I was one of the winners. Now, that being said, I did actually receive an upgrade. I was talking with him for a while uh, about how to best use this topical map service because I was already planning on making a video on it anyway. But because I was making this video, he did offer me to upgrade me to the next tier. And in return, I would make a fair and honest review of the service. So that's what I'm doing today. In a sense, it is kind of sponsored, but I would have gotten a topical map for free anyway. So I did want to touch on that in the light of transparency. So we're currently on the homepage of topicalmap.com and it's actually pretty uh, cool that he got this domain topical map. It's something I would expect that would have been taken already. But this is the homepage of the site and I'm just going to quickly walk you through it. It's literally, and this is what it's all about, is dominating with authority. And it's a really cool layout that you get. But let's just quickly go through the page. So uh, this is how it works. You give them your main topic and you provide them with a seed keyword. He will then do his thing and he creates a topical map from it. And then of course you get the topical map delivered. Now this topical map is honestly great for just about anyone. Anyone who's either stuck and doesn't know where to go from here or wants to create more topical authority around a certain aspect in a niche. It's honestly great for anyone. And uh, right here it says uh, six to 12 plus months of topics. Honestly, I can say that is definitely the case. I gave him a rather small uh, seed keyword, but I already have like hundreds of articles that I can write. So this is really what it looks like what you get. So you get a spreadsheet. And I think that this right here is the uh, coolest part. This is the one I'm spending the most time in, of course. Uh, but you also get this mind map. This comes with a pretty cool tool that you can kind of uh, collapse all of these minds so you can just focus on one at a time. Uh, in all fairness, this program that comes with it, I found it very complicating. I couldn't really get it set up uh, the way I would have liked. So um, even though I do really enjoy that this part is included, I always find myself going back to the spreadsheet and just because I, I just couldn't really get it to work. And I'm pretty sure that this is also something that has to do with the fact that I am not the most technical person. So probably someone with a little more tech experience can uh, get this working just fine. I just wanted to mention it. And here's a short list of all the benefits that come with a topical map like this. It's ready to use. Of course, you get everything sent to you uh, already completed. Uh, but it creates, and this is the part that I really like about it, and it's kind of these two uh, together. It gives you an overview of so many topic clusters that you can tap into. And of course, that's really going to help with the overall structure of your site. You can literally just tackle it topic by topic, and then you go silo to silo to silo, or cluster to cluster to cluster, however you want to call it. But it makes sure that you literally cover everything under the sun about a certain topic, and then you can move on to the next. And naturally, this is really going to help a lot with your overall site structure. And of course, internal linking is going to be extremely easy. You can interlink literally between all of the articles. It's literally just a silo roadmap or a cluster roadmap. Now, there's also a bunch of testimonials. I'm not really going to go through them, but uh, you can read them if you like. Uh, and then right here, you can see the uh, packages that they have. Now, I do have to say that it is a little expensive, but seeing what you actually get, it is actually pretty uh, extensive what you actually get. So there's a lot that you can do and it's literally 
uh, about a year's work that you really get with this tool. Anyway, you have an expansion pack. This is the one that the giveaway gave away. So I would initially get this one, but I got bumped up to the starter package. And lastly, there's also the authority package, which is even more expensive, but uh, you can see right here what it includes. The expansion pack is uh, probably the most basic form where you literally just get your topic clusters and your search volume and stuff like that. When you go to the starter package, that's when you, uh, I believe, get the spreadsheets and the PDFs and stuff like that. And then with the authority package, you get stuff like search for intent, content type recommendations, SEO title recommendations. It's also going to take a little longer, but that's of course to be expected. But this right here is a bright mind uh, behind the Topical Map service. But he is also the owner of the uh, Niche Server newsletter and uh, the Niche Server website. And I, of course, will leave some links to his services down below. So I want to quickly cover everything that I got from this service. And first and foremost, of course, I received the Topical Map itself. Now, throughout this section, I will put up some screenshots so I can actually blur the images because I don't want to give away my niche just yet. But um, so right here, you can see what the uh, PDF would look like. There's also a version in the tool that I said that was a bit hard to use. So I probably don't have screenshots for that one, but uh, that's also something you did get with this package. And then I also got a spreadsheet. Uh, this is the part where I spend most of my time because it literally just gives you some keywords to write on. So you also get the spreadsheet. And on top of that, I got a guide which basically walked me through how to use the topical map. And it also gave some great suggestions on how to do the internal linking part and a short guide on anchor text. Now this is something I never really paid attention to, but apparently it is a little more important than I thought it would be. Uh, what it basically comes down to is make sure that you have varying anchor text that actually tell Google what the article is about. Now I did say that I can't really show my uh, personal topical map because it would reveal my niche and I don't really want that. But there is a public case study on this topical map surface and it's all about spiral staircases. Now I will put some screenshots on the screen from the, uh, the, the spreadsheet and stuff like that just so you can see what you can actually expect from this surface. Now as you can see the spreadsheet itself is uh, really large and keep in mind that this is a public one and it's kind of limited in how much information you are going to see. Now as you can see this is just one uh, spreadsheet but my spreadsheet it got four tabs. It had a uh, informational one, a commercial one, an e-commerce one and then one specific to my niche which I'm not going to disclose. But as you can see like I got four of these huge spreadsheets and that's honestly a lot of stuff. Now I do have to say a lot of these sort of uh, keywords that you end up with are going to be pretty similar, especially in some uh, smaller silos or clusters. But overall, it really shows you what you can do. Now, personally, the way I would really go with this is if you want to improve topical authority, you get one of these spreadsheets and you just work cluster by cluster. You go through every single uh, subtopic. So you can see subtopic number four uh, is all about advantages and disadvantages of a spiral staircase. You write everything that, uh, every keyword under that uh, particular subtopic and then interlink everything together and then move on to the next. In this case, there were 500 keywords, but typically you get a little bit more. So if you do that for all of those keywords, you have such an, a great roadmap to a pretty impressive topical authority and you can interlink everything together and it makes just for an overall much better website. And Google will even see it's much better because the internal linking is on point. You really show that you have just about covered everything there is to cover about a certain topic. So obviously Google is going to trust you more. Now that's really the way I would use a topical map like this. If you're interested in getting one, I will leave a link in the description down below. This is not an affiliate link. This is just a uh, review of the service because I'm really impressed by it so far. Now, without further ado, I really want to thank all of you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have learned something from it. Maybe you see some value in the topical map and get one for yourself. I really hope it will help you as much as it has helped me so far. But other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.